Hello, my name is Duncan Alderdice, and the reason I'm making these videos is to document the journey I take as I become who I am. Today was a good day, interesting day. Um, okay, let's get into it. So $17 on the day, low. One booked demo as well, one closed deal. So that was nice. Uh, the fact that the activity is low, but then there was, as well as I, I did do more, I did send out 93 connection requests to round out the 200 you can send per week. Um, this, so that's done. As well as enroll, there's like a new sequence that they, the manager uh, created to revive. I enrolled a bunch of people in that, worked through pipeline managing that, and hosted five different demos. Uh, and one of them closed. The one that closed was in the morning. It was with a guy from Montreal, asked about the, like I talked about the Eclipse, and he moved forward. That was one that I thought was gonna close, um, but I also was a little afraid that he was kind of gonna be on the fence, but it was one where yesterday he wanted to reschedule for, originally it was booked for Wednesday, so tomorrow, but then he wanted to reschedule for today, which kind of means higher intent. Like I'm going like, okay, th th there's a possibility of wanting to close there, um, but then maybe he's just playing with me and just wants to tell me that no is the answer faster than later, um, which would be kind of, Rude. I'm just noticing I'm missing a thing on my sheet. <laughs> Forecast. So that's that. Lots of good conversations. Um, so like that, that was nice that it actually closed and kind of put me forward. Then it was also the competition I'm with or the, 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 com the friendly competition I am with in with the other another account executive for who can close the most like he had two demos that or deals that actually churn so then they don't count anymore but i'm still counting them as part of the score that he got because i'm competitive and actually it like there's it was an extenuating circumstance kind of thing like, like something happened with the person so then they couldn't actually take it on but whatever so that's that um it was good um i'm tired right now i think it's like seven o'clock i think i want to try to continue recording these at like five o'clock, which is when I did it yesterday. And then the demo yesterday also went very well. It was a more rapport focused demo um, because I was speaking to the person who wasn't actually, I know I've mentioned this, but I'm, I'm speaking to the person that I wasn't actually, I'm speaking to the person who wasn't actually the decision maker um, and they're asking good questions. But then so ultimately I'm not, the, the questions that are included in the script of the typical process, you have the more efficient way of having that conversation, they were not relevant to the person I was speaking to so I didn't ask them um but like it just it it seemed to go like like they were like she was has been speaking with other sort of offers and like there's a lot of sort of scammy sounding kind of companies and that she said she did research into ours and we sat, looked like a legit company which I know we are um and then so that's like uh, there was at one point she asked the question going like what do you think of the word guarantee um and I said the honest answer, which was like, okay, so like, I, I mean, sometimes I hear in sales pitches and it feels like there's, it's every other word that is said, like they're just, you're just saying the word guarantee to say it. Um, but then other times I, I see it as a, a core part of a, like an offer, like it's, a, it's the actual guarantee. And this was after I said like, when like with our program, you're guaranteed to get exactly what you pay for with, which is actually true. And then, so it was like funny going like, how do we how to phrase that in a way that isn't um, that I feel like I've said this out loud before. I don't know. I like I'm tired right now. Um, it was a good day though. I think I could have done more calling, but then oh no, okay. But I booked a demo. But then th that that's what it was. It was like from like because the, there was like a team meeting at like twelve thirty. Then from one to two, I was uh, enrolling people in the sequences and like. Uh, um, just like working through pipeline, making sure everything looked good. Then there was a demo at two that went great, follow-up booked from that. And then I also got a call back from the Facebook Dibsy that I got assigned last night that I called this morning and then had a 20 minute conversation with him, um, ended up booking a demo with him, started off him going like, it's gonna be way too expensive, I can't do that. But then ended with, I actually kind of want to continue the conversation after seeing it. So that was good uh, there. Uh, things to work on that my manager said was I I can get a bit overexcited and not give the person I'm speaking to enough time to f fully finish the thought that they're having and ask the question 
in the way that they'd like to ask the question that I know the question, the answer to the question that they're, I know the question that they're trying to ask and I know the answer to that question. And so I want to jump in and just like say it right away. But that's not, that's not what the person I'm speaking to ultimately wants. They want to feel heard. And you don't, you don't feel heard if someone is jump cutting you off to answer the question that you're saying as you're speaking the question. You, like, even if it takes four minutes for them to say the question, just like give them that space and then answer the, the question. Um, but then, so that was hectic because then it was, there was, um, then it was, I'm looking at the calendar trying to figure it out. Oh, then it was, there was like that conversation. And then there was another demo that I had that was at three o'clock, then emails that I had to send out. It was a hectic day. It was good. I also woke up early today. Well, earlier. Like, I normally snooze my alarm that goes off at 7.30 and roll in at 8. The new bed is nice, um, <laughs> obviously. Um, and edited a video in the morning, so that felt productive. Now I'm going to make tacos. Well, I've already cut up all the cucumber, the bell pepper, the onion, red onion, and the tomato. Those are all the ingredients so far. And then I just have to cook, saute the ground beef, add the taco mix, and combine and put it into a taco. Not a taco shell, a burrito shell, a taco roll. What is it? A, a fajita <laughs> taco soft thing name. A tortilla. A tortilla? I think it is tortilla. Okay, perfect. I see again. Tor tortilla. It is tortilla. Okay, perfect. So I just I wanted to ask my sales manager whether or not I could say the things. So to date right now, I am at fourteen thousand seven hundred and thirty one dollars and eighty eight cents in revenue generated this month. Last month I finished with hold on, let me just pull it up. Um, actually I can do that quick. <laughs> No. Hold on. I finished. Okay, so last month I finished with nineteen thousand one hundred and thirty-eight and twenty-seven cents. Quota is sixteen thousand. So right now I'm at fourteen seven, which essentially is one gold away from actually hitting it. So I'm happy with that. I almost did close one right there. Like, like just that I just had the demo that I just had with <clears throat> that I just held. Uh, but then they wanted to push the, the meeting back of a week. However, they it, it was a capacity issue. They suggested the follow up and they accepted the invitation for the follow up immediately. So again, high intent, less of a brush off. I did offer a promotion. Don't know if I needed to offer a promotion. We'll see, but so uh, I just wanted to get the all clear to say that I could say that. So thanks, Mr. Sales Manager, who's watching it right now, if you are. But so like, I'd like to actually be, because then I can actually communicate, like rather than speaking in abstract terms, speaking in more concrete numbers. So I'm at 14.7 on the month. It's only seven days in. <laughs> so, um, that, that. I wonder if I should start saying that number at the beginning. So like, cause dials I put the number up for, demos I put the number up for, cause that's what I've been doing for a while. I don't do it for deals hold, held or deals closed. Maybe I should change that. We'll have to rethink that. But anyways, we are, well, I don't know, because 14.7 is essentially 15,000. So we are one deal away, unless it's a green one deal away from getting hitting quota and not the accelerated quota, which is the one I'm aiming for, but we can hit 20 K this month. Easy. Okay. I'm going to eat food. I'll talk to you later. Oh, and the last thing is I'm, uh, well, like I'm way over budget on my spending, but all of my spending has been on either groceries, the new mattress or a book, which is the gay science by Friedrich Nietzsche, which I want to read because it's in that. That's the, where he first coins the phrase, become who you are, which is what I based the sentence I say at the beginning of this video off of, like where I become who I am off of. So I'd like to understand the actual thought that went into that sentence. I know that sentence isn't actually crucial to the thought that he's outlining, outlaying, laying out, outlining. 
he's he's writing about in the book. But again, I want to be able to like speak to the philosophy that I'm espousing on a deeper level than just this is what I heard and saw one quote once and now think, but rather I try, did the work to try to understand it to whatever a degree that I a degree that I could beyond just even if it's just I looked at every word once in that book so I can say that I did. Not an expert on it, not a full-on academic, but I can say I looked at every word once. I'm a step above not ever having opened the book. Now we're done.